Hi, this is Mark Downey with Go Engineer, and I'm here today to share some tips with you about controlling component colors in an assembly. Let's take a look. Over here on the screen, I've got a simple assembly with a box and a lid. You see that in the feature manager shown on the left. The flyout here is for the display pane. The display pane controls the visibility of the component, the display mode of the component, the appearances, and the transparency. We can control each one individually. We're going to talk today about the appearance column. You'll notice in the appearance column next to the component, there's a small triangle in the lower right-hand corner. That displays the current color of the component. I can control that color by clicking on that, left-clicking on that, and I can select the appearance for that component. When this pops up, the appearance property manager shows up, and I have two options here. Apply at the component level, which means at the assembly level, or I can apply that at the part document level, which is at the part level. Let's take a look at how this works. If I click it on the part document level, and we'll select a color down here in the bottom, let's click a blue, and we'll click OK. Notice how the lower right hand corner of that triangle changes to blue. That means it's applied to the component. If I right click and open this component, we'll see that, that component now has been changed to blue. Tab back over to the assembly, Let's take a look at applying the color at the assembly level. So we'll click on the appearance icon again, and we'll click on appearance. We'll bring up the appearance property manager again. We have apply component level. Let's take a look at what happens here. Let's click uh, orange for this, and we'll click OK. So notice the color has changed to orange. We've added a new icon here to the appearance column now. We've got a le upper left-hand corner is the orange color, the lower right-hand color, is the blue color. Again, if I open the component, we'll see that the component itself is, still has the blue color. The assembly level color takes precedence over the part color. So once we've applied those colors, if we want to remove one of those colors, so we don't really want the assembly level color, we can click on that upper left hand component level and we can remove that appearance and now we just have the part appearance. So that's how colors work in an assembly. I hope this is helpful. Have a good day.